I've been using Postman to test out HTTP requests for years now, but I just found this extension in VS Code that might replace it completely. Let's take a look. All right, so like I said, I have used Postman for years. That's been my de facto tool for testing out REST API. So as I build stuff, I test it. You've probably seen me use it in videos if you've seen other videos on the channel, which by the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm James. I do weekly videos on web development related topics. All of that said, I found uh, this extension for VS Code called Thunder Client. And this is a REST API client for VS Code. It's lightweight Postman alternative. So what I'm hoping is this can fully replace Postman for me because what I hate, especially when recording videos, is I get to a point where I, I design an API and then I have to open up a separate application to be able to test it out to see if it's working. So if I can do all of that stuff right inside of VS Code, I think that's gonna be a huge win. Uh, so one, I'm gonna go ahead and upvote this thing. I guess we, maybe I should wait to see if I enjoy it. I think I will though, so we'll see. So let's go into VS Code and I'm inside of a project that I wanna tell you about here in a second. Uh, but while, or before I do that, let's install the Thunder Client. So Thunder Client is right here. Let's go ahead and install this thing. And looks like it's good to go. Cool, you see this little um, lightning bolt come up over here. So what the source code is, this is actually the source code for uh, the Compressed FM website. So my friend Amy Dutton and I started this podcast called Compressed FM, and we just launched our first episodes. Here's the website, I'll have a link below. We just launched our first episodes uh, to any to Spotify, to Apple Podcasts, anywhere you can find them. So there's the Compressed FM, we've got the trailer, and then four episodes are launched, so go and check them out. But what we're working on is a dashboard for sponsors to come in and see st statistics for the episodes that they sponsor. So we're using Simplecast, and we're using the Simplecast API, and I was testing this out inside of the code. So inside of Simplecast, you can see it makes a request uh, to the API, and it needs to pass in uh, an authorization token. So we're just gonna test this thing out right inside of here. So let's go into the Thunder client. Uh, let's see here, Thunder clients, let's make a new request. It's gonna open up this tab that looks a lot like Postman, as you may expect. Uh, we're gonna send this request to uh, the, uh, to this URL. So it's the API Simplecast Analytics, and then we'll replace these variables with, uh, let's see, instead of type, I want this to be downloads, and then the episodes. Uh, we need to pass in a specific episode ID, and I can go and grab that in here. If I click on one, it's actually gonna be in the slug up here. So it's gonna be this part. I'm just gonna copy in that episode ID. And I send this request now, I should get back a not logged in because I need to pass in an auth token or a bearer token. Uh, so I've got this inside of, uh, inside of my environment variables inside of here. It looks like I can add a new environment inside of the GUI here. And I don't know, let's see, oh, new environment, there we go. Uh, so let's just call this uh, compressed testing. Sure. There's compressed testing. And inside of here, we want to add variables. So we'll say this is the simple cast API key. Now let me go and grab that and save it in here so you don't see it. All right, so I actually just saved that as a simple cast API token instead of key. So then we come into uh, auth. Let's see what auth gives us here. Basic auth bear token, and we can just paste in that token here. Now I wonder, how do we use the actual variable? So let's go and look inside of here. Does it have handcrafted launch blog post? Let's see if we can go to medium, see if there's variables in here. Has variable support, but where do we, how do we actually reference those is what I'm looking for. Maybe it's the same as Postman variables. Let's take a look and see. Using variables. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, okay, so it looks like maybe the double double brackets here, or double curly brackets is what that is. So we want this to be the simple cast API token. Uh, it just turned that green. Hopefully that means it's actually um, a valid one. So let's take a look here. Let's try to send that. And hey, we actually get back our stats. So uh, this is, the episodes are brand new, so not many downloads here. Uh, but cool that that actually works. So we can include variables. Uh, looks like we can do collections. So we could create a new collection for uh, compressed FM, for example, if I needed to test out endpoints for that. I like that activity. We'll just show the previous requests I've made. It looks just like 
postman and seems to work really well. Let's take a look at if we pass in body in the data so we can pass it in these different forms. Cool. And then is JSON nice. So it's got um, it's got some color coding in here. That's pretty sweet. So I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel like this can replace my Postman separate application and do everything inside of VS Code with this Thunder client. I'm curious if you're using any other tools to test out your HTTP, your API request, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you tested out this one in VS Code. I think this is pretty cool. The more stuff that I can do in VS Code and not have to worry about other applications, for me, the better. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks as always for checking out the video. Make sure to check out the podcast and I'll catch you next time.